The steppe empress fell out with Emperor Qianlong and subsequently cut her hair out of anger, a major taboo in Manchu culture. As a result the emperor demoted her, and even in her death, she was not given the funeral treatment worthy of an empress. The emperor literally hated her guts, thus completely destroyed all her records in history. The steppe empress of the Nora clan was the second empress consort of the Qianlong emperor of the Qing dynasty. Her personal name is not recorded in history, so she is referred to as either the steppe empress or Lady Nora. Lady Nora was born in the Manchu Ula clan, a subgroup of the Nora clan, which was under the bordered yellow banner. Her father, Nabu, was a military commander. During the reign of the Yongjing Emperor, Lady Nora became a concubine of Hongli, the fourth son of Yongjing. When the Yongjing Emperor died in 1735, he was succeeded by Hongli, who became known as the Qianlong Emperor. Following his enthronement, Qianlong granted Lady Nora the title of Consort Xian. Her pleasant character won the favor of Qianlong's mother, the Empress Dowager Chongqing. In 1748, the Qianlong Emperor's first Empress Consort, Lady Fucha, died, and consequently the Emperor's mother nominated Lady Nora to replace Lady Fucha as her son's new Empress Consort. The Emperor duly objected, because he was still grieving the loss of his first beloved Empress, and was thus reluctant to take her as his second wife. But he was also hard-pressed to disobey his mother's wishes. As a compromise, he promoted Lady Nora to the position of Imperial Noble Consort, and gave her administrative powers over the harem as an acting Empress. Two years later, an edict to appoint the Imperial Noble Consort as the new Empress was issued. The decision was made following a mourning period for Empress Fu Cha. In her role as Empress Consort, she accompanied the Qianlong Emperor on many trips, ancestral worship ceremonies, and hunts. The couple got on well at first, and they even had three children. Just like always, Lady Nora accompanied the Emperor on his fifth tour to southern China in 1765. Things went smoothly initially, and Qianlong even celebrated Lady Nora's birthday on that trip. Shortly after the Empress, who the Emperor had just granted a dish for breakfast, was not seen again by lunchtime, and her position at the table was covered up with a paper and Consort Ling's title was written in its place. It was revealed later that on February 28, the Qianlong Emperor had Lady Nora sent back to the capital Beijing via waterways, and ended his tour to southern China. When Qianlong returned to Beijing, he ordered the four monuments he granted to Lady Nora during her four promotion ceremonies to be recalled back. He also gradually reduced the number of servants Lady Nora had, until the Empress was only left with two maids by July. This was the number of servants low-ranking concubines had. Later he removed her family from the plain yellow banner and sent them back to their original bordered blue banner reduced their holdings by two Niru, and demoted her nephew. It remains a mystery as to why Lady Nora lost the Qianlong Emperor's favor in such an abrupt and rapid manner. According to pseudo-historical records of that time, Lady Nora fell from the Emperor's favor because she cut her hair. By Manchu traditions, Lady Nora can only cut her hair when either the Qianlong Emperor or his mother Empress Dowager Chongqing died. As both were alive and well at that time, Lady Nora had committed a grave faux pas that can be considered unforgivable, because the act of cutting her hair was interpreted as cursing the Emperor and the Empress Dowager to die. However, as Lady Nora had lived in the Forbidden City for years, and was a Manchu herself, her rationale for cutting her hair has baffled historians. Some speculate that Lady Nora cut her hair in protest against the Qianlong Emperor's tour to southern China because she believed that he had traveled there in search of women to be his new concubines. After series of unfortunate events, the steppe empress fell seriously ill on the 6th of June of that same year. However Emperor Qianlong did not otherwise delay his trip to the summer residence in Qingde. At the time of the Lady Nora's death, the Qianlong emperor was on an annual hunting excursion at the Mulan hunting grounds. He did not end his excursion immediately and head back to the Forbidden City. 
Instead, he ordered his twelfth son, Yongji, who was born to Lady Noro, to return to the palace to handle the funerary affairs. By the Qianlong Emperor's order, Lady Noro's funeral was ostensibly scaled down to that of an imperial noble consort, but in reality, the ceremony was much worse than it seemed, with the cancellation of imperial cabinet meetings for five days not carried out, and the cancellation of requirements for princesses, nobles, and high-ranking court officials to attend the morning sessions. In addition, the casket used for the steppe empress was of a much lower quality. For her burial, the steppe empress was laid to rest in the Yuling Mausoleum of the Eastern Qing tombs, next to imperial noble consort Chunhui, instead of being entombed next to the emperor's future resting place. After Empress Noro's death, Emperor Qianlong set about erasing her from the history books, destroying and editing records and portraits of her. This was a form of posthumous punishment and was intended to erase any memory of her from the annals of Chinese history. The story of Empress Noro is just one example of the complex power dynamics and cultural taboos that existed in the Qing dynasty. It is a reminder of the precarious position that women held in the imperial court, and of the high stakes involved in navigating the intricate political landscape of the time.